only on five tonight, a jewel heist, and it could be a big one right here in Cleveland. Gems missing tonight from the Natural History Museum, and police are scrambling to find out who did it. News Channel 5's Homa Bash is at the museum with the story you'll see only on News Channel 5. Homa? Well, ladies, the gem exhibit is closed here tonight, and police and museum officials being very tight-lipped about this one because they don't want to tip off the thieves. We can tell you, though, that items have been taken from the mineral collection. Sergeant Mike Pascara marks 30 years with the University Circle Police Department soon, and he's never seen anything like this before. Well, as long as I've been down here, this is the first time it's, it's happened that museum, that any of these museums got down here got, you know, uh, hit like this. A major theft at Cleveland's Museum of Natural History. Police saying it happened during business hours, sometime before 5 o'clock Thursday. The museum spokeswoman confirming to us that items are missing from the museum's mineral collection. An active investigation involving UCPD and Cleveland police is well underway. A source tells News Channel 5 tonight the stolen items include sapphires from the museum's Wade collection. They don't want a lot of information to get out on it because we don't want to tip off, you know, someone that might be involved in this. Meanwhile, the museum's gem exhibit remained closed to visitors today as police try to track down those thieves. The museums in the city of Cleveland have always been looked at as something special, so we don't want to give a black eye to anyone. Now, museum officials tell us that right now they're not sure how much these minerals or items taken from the collection are worth, but they believe their initial assessment is that they are not a significant value. Obviously, they say they take any kind of security breach like this very, very seriously. That investigation will continue. We'll bring you updates as soon as we get them. Reporting live in Cleveland, Homa Bash, News Channel 5.